Welcome to Vindal's concept. Looking at the question you have on the screen, let's start it. If this is a meter rule, meter rule ranges from zero to 100 centimeter, and which is one meter, and uh, this meter, it has center of gra gravity at 48 cm. And for it to have the center of gravity at 48 cm, that means the total weight, the weight of the mass of the meter rule will be at this point. So we'll call it M. This M means the mass of the meter rule. And remember, they say we should find the mass of the meter rule. So, in the first part, the first statement, a meter rule is found to balance at the 48 cm mark. So, for a meter rule to balance at 48 cm mark, it simply means that center of gravity is at this 48 cm mark. Remember that this starts from 0 to 100. So, if it is from 0 to 100, it means that at 48 cm mark, it can balance horizontally. It's just like using a meter rule, it can balance horizontally without dangling left or right. So, and that, anywhere it balances for a uniform cross-sectional meter rule, then that place where it balances will simply be the center of gravity. And the center of gravity is the point where the mass of the body acts. And so that M there means the mass of the meter rule. Okay, moving on. They say that when a body of mass 60 gram is suspended at CCM at 6 cm so uh, remember this thing is not drawn to scale it's not drawn to scale so from here let's assume that this place is 6 cm 6 cm so at 6 cm what happened At 6 cm, we balanced, we, we, we suspended 60 grams. So this is 60 gram. The weight of the body at that point was balanced at 60 gram. Then when that happened, what happened? They said that the, the new, I, I, let me add the word, the new balance point is found to be at 30 cm mark. So remember that every balance point was found using a knife edge then at this point this is the knife edge this knife edge when the 60 gram was hung at 6 cm mark and um, the mass of the meter rule is at 48 cm mark then that this particular horizontal meter this particular meter rule was now found to balance horizontally at this point which is 30 cm so that is what the whole thing means now how then do we calculate this problem one thing i have to i have you to i want you to understand is this you will first find the distance between here and here the distance between here and here so if you check very well so they also check from the this um, balance point to where the the mass was hung or suspended so um 30 minus 6 30 minus 6 is going to be 24 so so from here where the mass was hung to the knife edge from to the balance point we have 24 centimeter separating the two of them while between where the mass of the meter rule was balanced to the balance point the the center of gravity of the meter rule to the balance point we have 18 centimeter then if these two um, basic concepts are considered the next thing we have to do is when these two when these two are considered we now apply the now applying a 
applying the law and the law in this case says that clockwise moment clockwise moment is equal to anti-clockwise moment you hang when you hang this mass of 60 gram at this meter rule what will happen this meter rule will, will fall we do as if it's falling down so if it is falling down uh, i mean the the weight is acting in this direction as the weight is acting in this direction then we are going to say that um, we can call this clockwise moment and this one anti-clockwise moment so we are going to clockwise moment will be 60 multiplied by 24 and that is going to be equal to the mass of the meter rule multiplied by 18 and then when you divide both sides by 18 to make m the subject formula the 18 will cancel 18 at the other right hand side kick hey. Hey. of the balance point from the zero end you say we should calculate the distance of the balance point from the zero end so if the body we are moved to 13 centimeter mark so from here to here we can choose 13 centimeter mark I can choose here now to be my 13 centimeter so the body was moved initially it was at 6 but now the body has been moved to 13 centimeter mark so since the body is now at 13 then what will be the new balance point that is what we are looking for then from the zero end from the zero end so i will choose here as my balance point i don't know what it is it is x cm So, from here to here, I don't know what that is. I will call it x minus 13. Then from here to here, I don't know what the distance is. I'm going to call it 48 minus x. So, applying the same law that we did before, this direction is equal to this direction. So, this direction is equal to this direction. So, what do we do? Apply moment of forces. Clockwise moment is equal to anti-clockwise moment. About this same point is equal to 80 times 48 minus x. Remember, this x minus 13 is a distance from x point to 60 gram why this 48 minus x is the distance between 48 cm mark to the balance point so we have 60 multiplied by x is 60 x minus 60 times 13 is 780 also 8 times 48 is 3840 minus 80 x a best way 60 x this is 140 x is it this plus this is um 4620 divide both sides by 140 i have that x is 33 centimeter the new balance point is now at 33 centimeter that is at that point x at this point
Excuse me, New Balance Fund.